First, open Heidi SQL, entering the server IP address or hostname. The default IP address is typically 10.7.0.1, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I will be using a hostname. Continue to type in the username and password, the username being root and password Jacques or lowercase. Click open or connect. To find the new intercoms that have been added to the network but not configured, expand the state DB section on the left. Select device state and choose the data tab in the main window. Here you will see a list of all the devices on the network. Any intercoms that you have added to the network without identifying on the server will look different as it will have no curse state field and no tag number. The default method used to identify intercoms on the network is by their gem serial number which appears in the serial no column. The serial number is also labeled on the circuit board of the intercom if you need to check it directly. Choose one of the intercoms that you want to identify first and copy the serial number from the device state table. Using the menu on the left, navigate to the site config db, then tag device, ensuring you are still on the data tab. Next you need to create a new line to add the new device. You can either right click and insert row or press the plus sign button on the top menu bar. The tag number is arbitrary but should be logical and consistent. For this demonstration we will tag this device as 100. The parent will be who the intercom will call directly. For this demonstration we will make the parent of this intercom 200. If the device is a monitor station which will not call any other device, you will label the parent as 0. The uname is the descriptor in which the server will recognize the device by. The U value is the device's unique identification determined by the uname. As the uname is serial gem, we will enter in the serial number into the uValue section. The device model we are adding is a VES75K and its descriptor is an entrance station. The priority section determines the priority in which calls are accepted. The highest priority is 255 and the lowest is 0. In this demonstration, the priority will remain at 127. CProxy and GProxy can be left blank. To save, click the green tick button. Repeat this process for every device you would like to add to the system. Once you have added all the devices to the system, the JCCP server application needs to be restarted to accept the new changes. Open any internet browser and type in the server IP address into the address bar. You will type in something like 10.7.0.1. You will see a login window. Continue to enter in the username root and password Jacques or lowercase. Navigate to the Applications tab from the top menu bar. Press the Restart button for the JCCP server. Now go back to Heidi SQL and click Refresh.